Mr. President, in a couple of weeks, you're going to be giving uh, the commencement at Notre Dame. And as you know, this has caused a lot of controversy among Catholics who are opposed to your position on abortion. As a candidate, you vowed that one of the very first things you wanted to do was sign the Freedom of Choice Act, which, as you know, would eliminate federal, state, and local restrictions on abortion. Uh, and at one point in the campaign, when asked about abortion in life, uh, you said uh, that it was above, quote, above my pay grade. Uh, now that you've been president for 100 days, uh, obviously your pay grade is a little higher than when you were a senator. Um, <laughs> do you still hope that Congress quickly sends you the Freedom of Choice Act so you can sign it? You know, the, uh, my view on, on uh, abortion, I think, has been very consistent. Uh, I think m abortion is a moral issue and an ethical issue. I think that those who are pro-choice make a mistake when they, su if they suggest, and I don't want to create straw men here, but I think there's some who suggest that uh, this is simply an issue about uh, women's freedom and that there's no other considerations. I think, look, uh, th th this is an issue that people have to wrestle with and families and, and individual women have to wrestle with. The reason I'm pro-choice is because I don't think women take that, uh, that position casually. I think that they uh, struggle with these decisions each and every day, and I think they are in a better position to make these decisions uh, ultimately than members of Congress or, uh, uh, or a President of the United States in consultation with their families, with their doctors, uh, with uh, their clergy. Uh, so so that's, that's been my consistent position. The other thing that I said consistently during the campaign is I would like to reduce the number of unwanted pregnancies that result in women feeling compelled uh, to get an abortion or at least considering getting an abortion, uh, particularly uh, if we can reduce uh, the number of teen pregnancies, which has started to spike up again. And so I've got uh, a task force within the... Uh, uh, domestic Policy uh, Council in the West Wing of the White House that is working uh, with groups both in the pro-choice camp and in the pro-life camp to see if we can arrive at some consensus on that. Uh, now, the Freedom of Choice Act is not my highest legislative priority. I believe that uh, women should have the right to choose, uh, but uh, I think that uh, the most important thing we can do to tamp down some of the, um, the anger surrounding this issue uh, is to focus on those areas that we can agree on, uh, and that's, uh, that's where I'm going to focus.